Hey there guys and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, I think we're still in World 1-2, King of Kling. Because I failed at it pretty epically in the previous video. So we have to do it again. At least this time I remembered not to smash that block. Oh, secret area. Sweet. Do want to go there because there's bananas. And I'll go bananas for some bananas. So a drop down. More bananas. Don't think we need that block anymore because I have everything that's up there. Holy crap. Look out for the piranha plant knockoff critter. Because I don't want to lose Diddy Kong again. Because he's pretty vital if you're playing this game. Sweet, a heart. That way Diddy will be around for much longer. I think there was like a puzzle up there, but I think I already got that. So that doesn't really matter. Where did I die the last time anyway? I don't really recall. It's been oh so long since I've narrated the previous part. It's like less than 24 hours. Ooh, banana. Oh crap, I wanted that banana coin. Come on, go, go, go. Yes. Beware. Oh crap. Just go, just go. Let's see. Another banana coin. I already have 25, and yes, you'll be needing a whole lot of them. Because they simply are incredibly handy. You can buy extra lives with them. You can buy keys to secret levels. So you pretty much pick up every single banana coin you can find. So they're that important. I think I died around this part somewhere. I think I accidentally rolled off that thingy in the background. That's my major gripe with the controls. Pretty much every action is controlled by shaking the Wiimote and Nunchuck at the same time. And they vary depending on like which way you're holding the control stick. If, it, if you're holding it down, you, uh, you blow. If you don't hold it at all, you do the ground pound. And if you hold it sideways, you do the roll. But sometimes it, like, doesn't really register. Or maybe you're just a bit too late with releasing the control stick and you could end up rolling where you wanted to ground pound and just roll right off a cliff. So yeah, that's the downside of, like, Wiimote nunchuck controls. Oh well, at least now we have the checkpoint. Holy crap. Need to be careful. Banana coin, want. Why would Donkey Kong even need money? I mean, he's on an island with monkeys, and since when do monk crap? No! Oh, that's mean. That wheel had some sections that don't have grass on it. Curses! Stomp the bird. Blow the plant. The puffy white spory plant thing. Still don't know what it's called in English. I think it's a dandelion. Though I might be wrong. I'm not much of an expert on plants. Actually, I'm not much of an expert on anything. Except video games, because that's what I do best. Yes, believe it or not, video games are what I'm best at. Take that as you will. Uh, okay, looks like we have quite a long and difficult platforming section up ahead. Ooh, hey, the end. Sweet, I might actually be able to go for Kong in this level. Guess you might want to duck just in case that plant tries to take a bite out of your furry brown ass. Oh, get it. Get the banana. I mean, that's what we're embarking on this silly quest for, for a banana, so obviously we have to get all of the banana. Crap. Come on. Why doesn't that thing have any grass on it? Okay, there we go. Now just wait for it. This game requires a lot of patience if you want to succeed. And I don't really have that much patience, which is why you will see me fail an incredible amount of time in this LP. Hell, I even have to resort to using the super guide on certain occasions simply because I didn't want the LP to drag on with me doing the same thing over and over again. Oh well. 
I mean, come on, we all use the super guide at some point, right? Right? Eh, whatever. It's my LPI, decide how I do it. You just have to sit there and watch it and like it. And if you don't like it, then don't watch it. Oh no, Diddy! Oh, this is a pretty tricky section. Bounce on these flowers with buzz saws going around. Come on, into the barrel cannon. And the level's over. Okay, and that one wasn't so hard. The only death here was an accident. Well, that's what he said. Believe that if you want to. So, uh... Although we lost Diddy Kong, so I'm kind of sad about that. And where can we go now? Ooh, two pathways to Cranky Kong's shop. Let's check that out. It's about time you visit your frail old grandpa. Give me some of those shiny banana coins and I'll trade, trade you things. Wait, I thought Cranky Kong was like his father. Cranky Kong's like the original Donkey Kong from the arcade game with Mario and stuff where he kidnapped Mario's girlfriend. Apparently he's Cranky Kong, and the Donkey Kong we're currently playing as is like his son, Donkey Kong Jr. or something. I don't know. But yeah, let's get the key to the secret level, and buy some life balloons. Ooh, heart points. Nah, we'll get life balloons. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. And yeah, we'll get some more balloons. I gave it this balloon 30 seconds before it pops, so thanks a lot, Gramps. See if you can't finish this quest without my help. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you could actually play as Grandpa, you wouldn't really get very far. Okay, level 1, 3, three top bop. Yeah, we don't have anything in the inventory. What happened to the key? Oh yeah, it already opened the pathway. Okay, world 1-3, three, tree top bop. Let's see what this is all about. I hope it's easier than... Wait, what am I saying? The previous ones were easy as crap. But yeah, it's go time. I hope we find Diddy Kong soon. Because I can really use him. Get the banana. No. Oh. Crap. Why do I always think first and act later? No, you can't blow the bird away, Donkey Kong. That's not gonna work. Oh, okay, we can still get the bananas anyway. Problem solved. What? What do you mean there's nothing there? Oh, crap. Oh, that's also an easy enemy. Just stomp on him three times. And then he's dead. Oh, banana coins. Want, want. Can buy more lives with those. Another one. They're giving him away like bananas here. No! Ah. Uh, crap. Yes, expect to see stuff like that happen a lot. Because 2D platformers really aren't my forte. Hell, I don't even know what my forte is in gaming. Maybe like God of War esque games. I'm usually pretty good at those. But not at 2D platformers like this. Oh, really? You should have seen me play New Super Mario Bros. Wii with my three best friends. Fun was had, but also rage at each other. Banana coin. Eight. Nine. Yay, we can already buy. Like seven new health balloons later. Later. Diddy Kong, sweet, and there's a barrel cannon up there. I'm pretty sure we want to take that. Just need to get up there. So go here, get on this jetpack over there, stomp on the freaking bird that killed me last time. F you, bird. Ooh, can get the K. Sweet. And into that barrel. And we're up on some nice ruins now. Oh wait, I guess we're on top of some trees, so now we can see why they call this tree top bop. Because you're on top of some trees. Yes, I'm very witty. Come on, 
Banana. No banana. Fine then. Beware the bird. Blast off more bananas. Oh man. Don't lose Diddy Kong. He's too important to lose. Oh, three. Oh, sweet heart. Just when I could use one. And damn, that's a dumb stone face. I mean, what the hell? Kill the frog, get the O. At least now they're still easy to get in the earlier levels. But this looks like some pounding thing. Okay, but maybe it's not. Ooh, checkpoint. Do want. Yes. Sweet. Oh, this is one of them. Oh, this is the first Rambi level. Okay. Rambi is Donkey Kong's rhinoceros friend. And he's also in this game. And he's actually pretty fun. You can... You're pretty much untouchable in, if you, when you're playing as Rambi. Because really, enemies aren't going to do shit to you. You just kill them all in one hit. Hell, not even the spikes can damage you, I'm sure. Whoa. And you can even still use Diddy Kong's jetpack. I mean, that must be one hell of a strong jetpack if it can carry Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, and a fat-ass rhino. Oh, crap. Okay, you can't do anything to the burning enemies. The burning... Oh, crap. No! Frickin' Rambi. Screw you. Yeah, I accidentally pulled off his charging move, I guess. And that killed me. I mean, most of the deaths in these earlier levels are just due to me not really having the hang of the controls yet. But, okay, Diddy Kong's back, so... There's really nothing lost. The banana coin. Oh, we're not gonna make that. It needs to tilt better. Crap. Need to line these up right. And why does that thing have such a creepy face on it? Platforms should not have creepy faces on them. Sweet, I got the end again. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Rambi. Stupid rhino. You really are no good. Come on, frog, move. Move. Thank you. At least the frog listens to me instead of that stupid rhino. Whoops. I can probably make that. Yeah, like this. Oh, the G. Get the G. Nice. Stomp on that wacky tiki thing. Oh, that was too close. Roll. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. How did I make that? No, well, I'm not complaining. And up there is the end game barrel. Oh, crap. Failed the shake mini game. Oh, well. Still have Kong. So that's something to be happy about, but no puzzle piece. Those must have been hidden really well in this level. I mean, usually I pick up at least one or two along the way. Oh well. Now we can go to World 1.4, Sunset Shore, or 1.5, Canopy Cannons. And we'll go to number 1.4. But first, we will go buy more lives. Blood may be thicker than water, but banana coins are even thicker. Okay. Banana juice makes you invincible. If only that were true in real life, huh? Now we'll get by squawks. He can help you buy or find puzzle pieces. So why not? Pound or jump or blow or whatever, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And I'm sure we'll figure it out in the next part of Donkey Kong Country Returns when we go to World 1.4 Sunset Shore with squawks on our side. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.